Pyro is about to get the first class update since... Pyro's last class update. Hooray. Well, Pyromania was kind of shared, and this one seems like it's going to be more about just the Pyro. And it's supposed to bring new weapons and balancing. But you know what? No matter what this update does, some portion of the community is going to be disappointed. Some percentage of the player base want Pyro buffed, some want to see Pyro nerfed, and I'm sure some feel that Pyro is fine the way it is. You can go back to any point in the last nine years, and you'll find people complaining about Pyro. That's just... just how it is, I guess. Honestly, though, I don't really have an idea of how the general player feels. I don't know if there's significantly more people on one side of this issue. YouTube comments ain't really an accurate thing to go off of. I can tell you that. One thing that I found very odd is that I've occasionally seen people use the term fix as a synonym for nerf when referring to Pyro. It's not a secret at this point that the flamethrower is a little bit buggy. Just a little... I mean, kind of a lot. The particles can be inconsistent, and the range of your flames can be dependent on the strength of your connection to the server. As outlined in From Pyro With Love, which the TF2 team linked to in their Pyro Won The War blog post. But if those things are fixed, that is objectively an improvement for the Pyro. I.e. a buff. Even if that's how things should have been from the start. Now, even if some of Pyro's weapons have gotten nerfed in the past, Pyro as a whole has been consistently buffed since the game's launch. If the update puts a lot of focus on rebalancing Pyro, I would guess that it would be an overall buff for the class, even if a few things get toned down as well. I'm sure no matter what happens, the people who hate Pyro will continue to hate Pyro. There's, there's just no pleasing some people. But what should happen? Most of us have probably already come to some conclusion on, on what we think. Maybe. Now, as the, the one true arbiter of how things should be, you know, I'm gonna tell you what's right. Now, I don't know, I'm just some guy, I can only speak for... for me. But let's look at the facts, people! Pyro has above average health at 175, and an average speed at 100%. The Pyro's primary weapon, the Flamethrower, has a max non-crit boosted damage of about 158 damage per second. So the Pyro has semi-decent tankiness, but just... mediocre ground mobility. For that speed, though, Pyro does have a decent chunk more health compared to Engineer and Sniper, but other high health classes like Demo and Soldier are much more mobile due to their ability to explosive jump. And someone like Heavy has much more health and a higher average damage output. 158 DPS from the flamethrower might not sound bad, but it's on a very short ranged weapon. Then again, most of TF2's combat does take place pretty close to one another, but the other classes do have more range. Also, let's compare that 158 damage to, say, the minigun, which is capable of dealing over 500 damage per second at the closest range. See, see, that's higher, in case, you in case you didn't know. Of course, Pyro does have residual damage with Afterburn, but that only tacks on 60 damage max, and there's kind of a lot of ways to get rid of it. Sure, I mean, there's a dependence on how good the player is, and what weapons they're using, and just the general situation, but nothing bar, maybe a few unlocks, really sticks out as overpowered. I'm gonna be honest, I never really understood where the claim that Pyro was too powerful was coming from. It doesn't really seem like it has that much to back it up. I think when people state that they think that Pyro is overpowered, they probably mean that they think Pyro is annoying. Even if that's not exactly what they're saying. Just swap overpowered for annoying and maybe the argument makes more sense. Or maybe they do genuinely think that Pyro is too good. Uh, who, who knows? I, I don't... But I mean, who likes getting run down by a Pyro while they're reloading? Or being air blasted into a corner over and over? Or being subjected to one of Pyro's 86 crit gimmick weapon combos? or dying from Afterburn, two inches away from a health kit. Fighting Pyro can be unfun sometimes. But, uh, th then what? How would you nerf Pyro? Should Pyro be nerfed because it's annoying? Any class can be annoying. I play a lot of Heavy, but I probably wouldn't say Sniper should be nerfed. You know, I would say a weapon like the Reserve Shooter, for example, should probably be toned down in some way, since it is very easy for Pyro to capitalize on the benefits of that weapon at no significant drawback. But other than that, I, I can't really think of much. I am genuinely curious to hear how people think that Pyro should be nerfed, if that's what they think. Just because I think Pyro should be buffed doesn't mean it necessarily has to go 100% in one direction. In fact, it probably shouldn't. They could play down certain aspects on some unlocks or, or even on stock while still making the class better as a whole. Speaking of unlocks, I'm personally hoping that they make the extinguisher usable again, and touching the sharpened volcano fragment for the first time ever might be good. I, I mean, buff it. Don't, don't touch it by nerfing it, because it's bad. And you know what? I personally wouldn't mind seeing the entire Moon Man set undergo a slight rework. Those are probably some of my least favorite weapons in the game, simply because of how... 
how uninteresting they are. I remember seeing the Flagitionator stats for the first time on that 2011 update page and being being pretty disappointed. We didn't get flamethrowers too often, and actually we haven't gotten one since then, but it was just just another crit gimmick, no air blast flamethrower. I, the back burner covered that pretty well back when that had no air blasts. I mean, it's a laser flamethrower. You could have done so much more with that. And I wouldn't say that WM1 is a powerful strategy against against anyone who can aim, but I don't think it's necessarily a style of play that should be overly encouraged. On the other end of things, I suppose, I've sometimes seen Pyro criticized as not having the most defined role in competitive other than supporting medic, I guess. But you know, I'm not sure I automatically see that as a bad thing. I think it's kind of interesting for Pyro to be that kind of weird hybrid of defensive support and situational close range offensiveness. Which is probably one of the more effective ways that Pyro is used in casual too. Despite being labeled as an offensive class from the beginning, not that that ever really meant anything, Pyro seems to be kind of better at defense and support. Uber blocking, projectile reflecting, extinguishing, spy checking. You know, I mean, it depends on where, what situation you're in, but that seems to lean more towards support. Defense. You know, I, I do wish Valve was more willing to publicly play around with balancing, like changing some class mechanics or buffs and nerfs to weapons under the caveat that they might be reverted. I mean, is there a better way to test this stuff? I don't think throwing random balance changes at us twice a year is really enough. I wouldn't mind being the guinea pig if it meant more consistent and frequent balancing. I mean, what if they made Pyro run a little faster for a month, just to see how it worked out? You could always go back, which is something that Valve hasn't really done too much of in the past. Almost never. They'd never really go back on a bad balance change that they've done. The Righteous Bison and the Claymore, you know, there's, those are probably dead for at least another three more years. That, that'd be my guess. But, you know, back to Pyro, I mean, what if they increased its health to 200? It's probably not a good idea, I don't think I would say so myself, but it'd be interesting to see how it would play out. They could even try out some nerfs. Why not? I've said it a bunch of times at this point, but I can't really stress enough how much regular balance changes would improve the game. And would probably bring back interest to it for people who don't play the game quite as often. You know, new balance changes, that's exciting. No matter what happens though, I can't imagine this Pyro update ever putting a lid on the Pyro discussion. Nor should it. There will be plenty of complaints, but also new weapons. So, so, so play with those. Be happy. Bye. I said I was gonna work on that ending, so I didn't.